everybody. Good morning, good evening and welcome to the CIU podcast. Joining us today is Dr. Lopez and we're going to talk about the doctoral research project and also a little bit about the GRC, which is the graduate research course. And why Dr. Lopez is the correct candidate because she just finished her GRC. So Dr. Lopez, welcome. Can we have a little bit of introduction about you, please? <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Morjani. Uh, hello, everybody. Good morning, afternoon, evening. I am Dr. Camila Lopez. I have recently uh, completed the GRC. Uh, I have a DBA and I'm currently working as the doctoral research coordinator at CIU. And thank you again for having me. You're most welcome. And before I forget my introductions, I'm Dr. Amar Murjani. I'm the associate dean at CIU. So before moving and getting into all this, Dr. Lopez, I just want to ask you one thing. Once you cleared it, once you got your DBA, once you got the doctorate in front of your name, do you feel like you can lift a mountain? <laughs> well, nothing has changed really, Dr. Amar. <laughs> but yes, maybe after completing, not, uh, not getting the people to call me a doctor, but really after completing my uh, oral defense, I was very happy and I felt, yes, I can climb a mountain now. <laughs> yeah, I, I have actually seen this because one of the students told me this, that after getting that, after finishing up my presentation and after getting the approval from the committee, I feel like I can lift a mountain. It was, it was a relief. <laughs> and that comes with it. You know, you are the doctorate, you are less, there are, four, there are less than 4% of people who have a doctorate degree. So you are that limited niche category. So it just, it goes with it. <laughs> So, Dr. Lopez, let's start with the basics. Like, I think we should just have like a normal conversation on what it is all about. I think we can start with the differences between both of them. That's m most important for everybody to understand. The DRP, the Doctoral Research Project, is a project that the student pairs with an organization. And the idea is that um, the student will find a problem within that organization and the student will provide solutions. Right. Um, on the other hand, the GRC, the graduate research course, is more academically. So what the student is doing in the GRC part of the program is uh, adding to the knowledge that already exists. So that is why it, the length uh, of the chapters are different when compared to the project. Um, well, both of them, you when the students choose the path, both of them, they finish with a DBA. Um, in my opinion, I did the GRC, but that was because of the type of my topic, right? And that was more towards the academia. But I'm a big fan of the DRP of the project because I feel that um, when they go through the project, they are actually putting into practice the skills that they learn in the other courses before prior getting to the, the project. And they are improving those skills and this is what the companies are looking for, right? They want uh, their employees to be able to not only identify an issue, right? But also be able to um, give a solution. So boss, here, this is the problem that I found, but wait a minute, I have a solution for this. <laughs> I'm not giving a headache to the boss, right? <laughs> and also, and also, I feel like why DRP is preferred more is because it's quick. And you know, with these, these days with working professionals, people who do jobs, they don't have that much amount of time in their hand. Like I remember when I did my thesis, when I did my PhD, I spent like seven years to finish it, which was like a very long time. And I don't think so that if I would have been working like uh, uh, having a full-time job, I would have never been able to finish it in seven years. So with the DRP, the advantage is students can actually finish up in like one, one and a half year because they are already working in an organization and they know the insides and outsides of that organization. They know what is the problem of that organization. And many a time they already have a solution. So the DRP project becomes basically like a tester to see if the solution fits in perfectly or not. Exactly. So the next thing I really want to know about it, we have gone through the uh, the difficult part of what what is in both the project and the uh, dissertation. What is the most easiest thing? I would say 
the data collection and the data analysis was the most enjoyable and I wouldn't say the easiest part because it's not easy analyzing everything and gathering all the information but I would say that it was pretty enjoyable uh, starting is something very hard because you when you when you're starting your dissertation either path you don't know where to start there are lots of information so you need to look for the different uh, articles and papers and see what has been done what hasn't been done and that is very uh, demanding it's very difficult but at the moment that you pass all of that and you're talking to your participants and you actually see the results that's very fulfilling that's very exciting and you see wow what I did is something interesting right I got these results and uh, they could have an impact uh, on academia or they could have an impact on the business or, or organization that I'm pairing with. So I, I would say that that is the, the best and li less difficult. <laughs> but I think I would just say you are, the, you are one of those brave ones who really enjoys data collection and analysis. And when I, when, when I look at it, I feel like most of the students who get into the program are a little scared when it comes to data. But um, looking at the other as other aspect of it, I think re uh, review of literature is something that I find is a little easier. And it is also enjoyable because you get to read a lot of work that other people have done. And you get to find out what's, what new things are happening and how you can actually take some theories forward and add your contribution to it. And uh, it's like basically you enhance your knowledge band and you learn about more about what you want to do. Data collection is something I'm... I'm I, I just get a little scared of. So I, I, I choose to stay a little far away from the data aspect of it. But as you said, yes, when you see those results coming in and when you see that what you wanted to do is actually being panned out in theory and in paper, it just it's that's a different feeling for sure. You get the sense of achievement that you did something purposeful. Exactly. And I feel that maybe that would be different for each person. Uh, it depends on our interests as well. Uh, like you mentioned, really like reading and getting to know more about the topic. In my case, like analyzing and getting the information and seeing the results for me, it was amazing. What we forget most of the time here is that the doctoral research projects are just not tied to business problems. Uh, it basically happens into a business problem when we're talking about a DBA, that's the doctorate of business administration. But people can also use it in other areas of study. Like you can have a, a DRP project in life sciences. You can have a DRP project in psychology. Uh, and when I see that evolution and when it comes to DRP, the project, I see that the project is designed into a very structured manner. Like, you know, there are different parts, but it's like, you know, a milestone. It's like playing a video game. You achieve one level, then you achieve the other, then you achieve the other. Like the student starts with creating a business problem, a general problem, a specific problem. Then they go ahead and do the purpose why they want to do it. They do a review of literature. Then they, you know, meet with the organization. They get the data. They actually go in and see the people who they want to interview. Um, they come out with the solution. This is basically like, it's a, this is a journey and the DRP is designed in such a manner that it has different parts, which is different, different stations of your journey to the destination. And at the end, they, they have a product, they have the project written down and uh, they just um, present that to the committee members. That's also important to, to, to state because uh, most people think of the the dissertation with the oral defense in the project, they also have a final presentation that they show the committee members what they did, uh, their results. And that is also something which, which has fascinated me because I have sat in both defenses and presentation. And trust me, both of them are not that easy as it sounds because when we say that presentation is basically just showcase. So, so a student who does the DRP project, at the end of the project, he presents the committee what he has done. And the committee asks them why they chose this, what was the impact and stuff like that. That's also a rigorous because students and everybody, they are like, you know, they did one year, one and a half year of their life doing this thing. And dissertation, the GRC in the oral defense is very rigorous. You know, this brings me to a very interesting uh, story. So I was, uh, I was in the committee for two different students. Um, both of them were in the same part of the country. Both of them were doing uh, research on the same healthcare industry. 
but the best part with the drp project was they both were picking out two different problems and when we see that kind of work our brain actually magnifies and feels like you know what this is the problem that a is solving this is the problem that b is solving so it's just it's it's astonishing and it's just surprising to see what students actually do and there's so many so many problems that the students can pick from <laughs> the world is there <laughs> yes it's like whenever they come they always want to they always want to solve the biz- a world problem they come with like you know i want to solve world hunger i want to clean the oceans but then we have to make them understand that project has to have one problem one negative consequence of one organization they can actually and i would like to promote this that they can actually go ahead and solve world problems if they want to they are capable of doing so but to get the drp they just need to solve one problem one consequence of one organization get their degree and then just solve any problem they want <laughs> yes okay uh just last thing i want to ask before we end up our conversation here is why do you think somebody should opt for the drp like i mentioned i did the grc the the graduate research class but i'm a big fan of the drp the project because i see uh all the skills all the knowledge that the researcher in this case the student uh accomplishes after completing it and i feel and i i understand that this is what the companies want from them and apart from that also the length like you mentioned it takes uh a little bit less to complete the project uh compared to the uh, dissertation the grc again i'm a big fan of the grp <laughs> <laughs> no, I can see that. I can sense it. Which way you are leaning, my friend? But it's okay. But you know, I was talking to a colleague of mine, and she asked me the same thing about why DRP. And I told her that they are short, they are sweet, they're impactful. I like it. <laughs> well, um, thank you so much for joining in, Dr. Lopez. It was great to have you, and I would definitely see you more in the future in more podcasts that we do. Thank you so much for having me.